Yes folks, we're back once again with another video and in this video we're exploring the old school jungle music production techniques in 2024 using the software available. And in this particular video series we're talking about Tao Sampler. Also guys, I've got a ton of content incoming. For those of you who want to see the Amigo Sampler, that's also in the pipeline going to be dropping any day so make sure you subscribe to the channel folks smash that like button if you like content like this you really be helping the channel out so much more than you probably even realize but a lot of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed so please subscribe to the channel right back to the video so folks this is part two of our towel sampler series part one link in the description so so far in the original part of the video we were able to sort out these tracks we got the beat down and we got to the point where we laid down a time stretch here so we needed to sort out some automation and at the time i didn't realize that you use the instrument automator which practically automates any vst instrument that you have in Renoise. Now it's really weird because I've usually automated plugins but not necessarily instruments. So this is a useful parameter to have because it basically allows you to control all parameters on any VST instrument pretty much. Don't call me on it, comment down below. Let me know if you use it. But look at Tau Sampler. Tau Sampler's got so many different things that you can automate. So we're gonna do more on that later. Comment down below, let me know if you wanna have a video just about all these things here. So here we are, we're back here again. Let's see what we got. And then we've got a, got a bass sound. Let's label that up real quick. So rename Dread. We've got our little time stretch vocal. We've got some effects down here. Let's see what we can do with that. All right, so let's try and make it so that it doesn't, uh, it's not so wet. Put it on sync so it's in time with a song. Nice. Put that as our little rag of vocal. Nice. And then we've got time stretch, which, which we've already used. And we've got our Amen here. We've got our Fink, which we've used. So now, what we're going to do. Man, Windows 11. Cha. It's just so crazy, man. All right. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to load up some more sounds. Let's see if we can find a nice old school string in the towel sampler. So I'm just going to load the towel sampler as default now. And let's see if we can find a nice old school string to start with. Yeah. So go into here. Let's check out the towel library now. So some samples or you've got presets in there. So let's see, let's go for what we've got. And you got any Korg stuff in here, yeah? We've got the M1, let's have a look. Want to get some strings. Okay guys, so this is the Fairlight collection inside the factory defaults that it comes with. And it's a quite cool strings here. I found this nice little string here. So what I'm going to do, let me try something really cool here. I don't know if this is going to pull off, but let's just do this for a second. I'm going to hit two keys on the keyboard. Keep it nice and simple for you. I've got the V and the N key. And they're not actual musical notes. These are just two keys. But in real, you've got E and you've got A. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to expand this track. So I've got enough for a chord. I've got E and A. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get that and I'm going to make that into a phrase. So I'm going to go pattern, phrase. This is like a really easy way of doing this, right? It's pretty cool. Create phrase from pattern. So now inside here, I've actually got a phrase in this instrument here. So if you look here, there's a little phrase down here, yeah? So now that phrase is basically the two the, the chords. So whenever I press 
the cord now in theory it should I haven't got a keyboard connected to this because I'm keeping it very rudimental basic for you guys but look so let's turn this string track down it's way too loud bring it down there Uh, we'll do a couple of copies of this roll it over four times so actually what let's do it two times to begin with right and let's join these together organize join yeah to make it bigger so let's get a little chord progression going right bun that bun that chord it didn't work out hold on bun that phrase Right, let's try something else. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that and I'm going to loop it over there. Right, I'm going to render it to a sample. So we use towel. We use towel. So we're still sticking to our guns here, right? So we're going to render this as it is to a sample. And now we should have a typical old school sounding synth. And let's boost it up a bit by pressing highlight it all first. Control and P, my bad. Right, let's get rid of that start point. It's too s steep. You know what? Let's export this out and bring it into town now as a sample, right? So let's do that. String. Because... I know what to do with it in Reno, I could do that all day long, but the challenge is to use Tau Sampler, right? So let's just paste that, pop, pop that back in there. Bring it like so, bring it back, and we should have our string here now. Chuck that on layer one. Oh, that's nice. And you know what's cool as well, what I realise this is good for, right? Because it does that time stretch thing, you could get little riffs in that, yeah, and time stretch them and make them sound pretty cold. Right, guys, so as you can see, you can use time stretch quite creatively, not just on the brakes, but also on instruments to make them quite interesting. Or maybe not. Right, back to the video. Let's get rid of these little numbers because they can be pesky when it comes to your groove, yeah? So let's get rid of that. Uh, delete, man, delete. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what else we could do with this towel sampler now. Let's see if we get this mod matrix going and see what it does. Yeah. Oh, we got some kind of envelope crap going on here how did that even happen let's get the time stretch on and see what that does Not bad. <laughs> so when you're writing music, yeah, you've got to get a feel for it, right? It's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together.
you can see everything's been played too quick so i'm just going to grab it and shuffle it down one make life easier but that's sounding good man nice label that track dread and dread right let's see what we got a little time stretch here we could use this in a drop hold on where are we no we want the ragga so let's get a little echo and all that on there do some delay on that see we got where's the feedback we need some feedback maybe this make it go longer nice hold on hold on hold on what's do we mess about the akai yeah let's mess about this s1000 thing but that's too tame man we have to come better than that nice 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 all right let's see what we got let's see if we can find any other little sounds to go what do we have in there so far we got that which we're not using that we got that we got the thing we got the couple of time stretches and i believe we've already run with those uh we could do a little time stretch right right so let's do a little arrangement real quick so we're starting up how are we starting this off people Put a, put a something in the chat where you think we should do with it. We definitely ain't coming with the dread first of all. So I would say let's open this up. We got our like arrangement matrix here, yeah. So I'd say we start originally without that dread. Cause we're gonna bring that in. Now and then now respect's a bit loud. So I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. You want the vocals loud and proud, but like... Right, before we bring that in, let's just dive into uh, another towel instance, yeah? And let's go into some of these retro drums, put a little bit of effects on it and, you know, jam through with that. Right, I'm going to pause the video, right? Because I don't want to run out of time before we get stuff interesting, yeah? Okay, guys, so I made a few little tweaks just to save a bit of time, race the head. So I got the uh, H Elisis HR16 drums. Uh, I put a little bit of um, a delay on it and also a bit of reverb. Uh, this You can also EQ on there, but it messed with that. And um, yeah, it sounds like this. So that's that one. I'm going to put that in real quick. Right, so let's see how that come out. So as usual, it's playing at the wrong latency. I'll probably have to hook up a a different card to this and also this is the most annoying feature in windows 11 right i don't know what it does if anyone knows how to get rid of it, it might it's just freaking out with my mouse man like look at that you see what it just done to reno so we need a couple of little steps on that yeah so that'll do I also dropped some hi-hats in there from the same Elisis HR16, one of the early drum machines from way back when, that is just absolutely the bomb. Check this out anyway. Now 
Right, so I think on that time stretch we'll try um we'll try dumping Windows eleven. <laughs> we'll try uh just maybe muting the, the hats at this point. Just to to look to about there maybe. Oh, let's see what's happening. Guys, someone comment, let me know how to get rid of that. Yeah, and even take it off of that stretch as well. Right guys, I decided to draw for the old kick sub. Let me see what I can do with it. So guys, I took an 808 kick into Tau Sampler and done some filters on it. Put this cyclic on there, time stretch at this uh, level here, size, res, some notch. I felt uh, a few of these filters turned on, messed about the matrix, and then ended up with this bass. Right guys, so there you have it, part two of our making a jungle track from scratch in Tau Sampler. And uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, if I get enough likes on this, I will now move on to the arrangement phase and the finishing touches. As you can see, I've got an arrangement up here on the screen. If you want to see that, see how I break that down, smash the like button, leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.